hey guys welcome to today's video in today's video i'll show you how to add the room tags in the uh, in the floor plan so in previous video i've shown you how to add the doors windows and everything in the previous video so in today i will show you how to add the room tags so suppose i want to add uh, a room tag here here and everywhere i'm just naming so let's start so for the room tag you just have to go to the room and you can place this one and when i uh, press the escape it's it's not showing anything so for this one you just have to go to the visibility graphics edit and uh, um, go to the rooms and color fill or you can just interior fill a reference apply and okay now you can see it, uh, it, it's showing like uh, this uh, it's a uh, different different rooms but now i am planning to make a line here so that it will show like uh, this one is only for kitchen and this one is only for the living area so for this uh, to separate this one i'm using this room separator and uh, make a line here so now this one is a different room and this one is a different so to make it different i am using here one separator um, and uh, put a room tag here so now uh, hit escape uh, you can see these are the different here on other row here also i have to put a separator so that i can add uh, room tag here so you can use the separator just to separate the things like if you like suppose the um th this one and this one you want to separate but it's showing a common area uh when you use the separator it will show that this portion is different and this portion is different so i can add a uh, tag here so that it will uh, i can name it as a hallway and this one is at the living room so let's start tagging the room so for tag the room you just have to select this one and tag room and here you just have um, by default yeah it will showing like room on number or if you want a room tag with area you can click this one and it will show room tag and the area how square foot is this area is like uh, this way but and there is another option it can show like a room tag with volume if you select this one it will show the room and then the volume with cubic feet like this one is square foot is the area but here it, it is showing like this uh, cubic feet the, the total volume so but uh, or if you don't want this you can select this one the simple room, room tag like this uh, it, it's just showing the room and the number so, but uh, if i want uh, a uh, another room tag like which Oh, which it will show instead of the area it will show the dimension of the room so then what i can do so let's do and to edit this one uh, so instead of the room area i want to make it like suppose it's 10 feet by 12 feet it it should be showing like 10 feet by 12 feet instead of this 107 feet square footage so for this one you just have to double click this one and then you copy way and uh, it's like the autocad dynamic block editing uh, so this one uh, i'll go to the edit level and uh, these are the function so let me delete this one and add another fx which is uh, I, I have to show it like the length in length and width like length cross width like the way uh, the dimensions uh, usually is shown like so I'm sorry we are using this plan so this way oh I want to show it like this way like uh, room and uh, dimension the regular way people like to show their dimensions in the floor plan so for this one I just have to type here length and here i just have to reach length and the formula i am using is this one this formula i'm using so you i will add this formula in the description box so you can use that formula uh, length 
and uh, I'll add another fix similar way and name it as uh, ID width and this one is similarly length and its area by length area by length and hit okay and here in the prefix and add small x like a small x and, um, okay apply okay okay so load into project load into project do you want to save this do you want to save changes yes so i'll name it as room tag uh, uh, l into w like l into w and uh, save it in family with families or save it in the desktop and here you can uh, see this one is added here if i want this one here this one i add to the room tag go to the room tag and i can select this room tag and it's showing like this you can see um but now if i want to make it like a little bit half <coughs> so you can see this is this way you can use the room tag as uh, and uh, this one so I'm choosing this one this one and this one and uh, this one I'm not using this one instead of uh, you can use the square footage or you can use this one and here i'm using the room tag only and here i i'm using okay i'll show you how to change this one is room um you just make it uh, dining room and uh, yeah num name one like name or I can if I don't want this tag I can delete this one and uh, add another room tag like uh, yeah. this one similarly this one I can change it to kitchen kitchen and change it to and uh, but I don't want the square footage. If I don't want this one, I can go to the room tag and uh, put this one. Similar why I am using the room tag. Uh, Yeah, similar way you can edit your uh, room tags. I can add another room tag. So this way. Um, Okay, so this way you can add the room tags in your floor plan. And uh, suppose you want a and a 
if you don't want to source this one you can go to the visibility graphics and instead of uh, go to the rooms and check the interior field under the current colors so it's not showing any cross marks so you can you can change one this is two uh, three okay. this is bathroom and bathroom age the hallway hallway so as you can see uh, how so guys now uh, you have learned how to add the room separator and room tags in your floor plan so now i'll show you how to add the lessons um and uh, color the rooms in the, with the color the rooms as for the legend so for this one you just have to go to the edit and here you can find this uh, colorful lessons so you just have to click this one and it's already shown um, these colors and, uh, and the rooms so you, you can see how quickly you can do these things in revit so but it's not showing in the floor plan so just to show it in the floor plans you just have to go to the visibility graphics and edit and go to the rooms yeah here you can see this small plus symbol you just have to click it and let's check the color field and apply now we can see these um, colorful floor plans and its lessons if i want to add another uh, room here i suppose uh, i can put a room here here and here and go to tag the room uh, here it's a bathroom This one is a how I say okay. Pantry. This is garage. This is uh, garage. Mm. This is fourteen. So now I'll ch change the legend. If I delete the ch legend and add another one. Can see. This is how, yeah, the uh, garage and uh, working project, everything is added. So this way you can add the legend and uh, add the room tags in the floor plan. So here also I forgot to add the porch. So let me show you. I'll go add the porch. This is tag the room. This 
this is I am adding it as a room but it's so so I'm doing it like porch porch yes 15 So this is the way you can add the room tags and room lessons in your plan. So I hope this video is helpful to you. See so you in the next video.